Hello my fashion friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Ose Prather here, your style professor, teaching you how to dress your life successful. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wear every single thing in your closet. I constantly get asked questions on how do I wear everything in my closet? I'm always gravitating towards the same five or six pieces. How do I switch it up? So I'm going to give you guys a few pro tips on how to wear everything in your closet. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you may or may not know that I have been doing a no buy. I haven't bought any new clothes for about two months. I think it's been a little over two months now, but um, I've been doing a no buy and I'm kind of reaching the end of it, but I haven't bought anything new. I've been really trying to wear everything in my closet, really enjoy my closet and all the pieces that I have. So one pro tip that I can give you as far as wanting to wear everything in your closet is if possible, carve out a section of your closet of empty space okay carve out a section of empty space where you can plan outfits so for me what i do is every week i plan about five to seven outfits for every day of the week and i put them in this section here that way every day i have something to wear i'm not scrambling trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear i have all my outfits here planned out in this cross section of my closet so this area here is where i plan the outfits i put outfits together see what i want to wear um i just uh, filmed a video so that's why these pieces are here but this is where i would put all my outfits for the week so that's one pro tip and that is to try to plan out every single day's outfit for every day of the week so that you're not scrambling trying to figure out something to wear so the second pro tip is once you've worn that specific outfit Put it right back in the section where you have your weekly outfits planned. Don't put it right back in your closet because it's back in there and you may find yourself pulling that same exact outfit again. Don't do that. Put it right back into the section where you have all your weekly outfits planned so that um, you're not going back and re-wearing that same outfit again. And then at the end of the week, once you've worn your five outfits, six, seven outfits, however many outfits are here, once you've worn all those outfits, then you know I've worn different outfits every day that week. Okay, and the third pro tip is once you're done wearing all your outfits for the week and you're getting ready to throw them into the washing machine to wash them, clean them, whatever the case may be, go ahead and wash them, do whatever you got to do. And then once you take them out of the washing machine and you want to hang them back up, I would suggest hanging them back up inside out so that you know you've worn that specific piece because if you were to hang up the items and then just put them back into your closet for one you may forget that you've worn that piece and then you may pull it again and then for two like I said you may just be like that's a go-to piece for me I know it looks good so I'm gonna pull that piece but if you put it back in your closet inside out that means you're forcing yourself not to choose that item because it's already been worn. And then for the next week, you have to choose items that are not inside out. So that way you know you're choosing fresh items each and every time. So next week comes around, you go through your closet and then you pick out items that you think you want to wear. Just make sure that they're not inside out. So that's a really good way to not repeat outfits and to make sure you're wearing every single thing in your closet. Now, I know for the most part, more people have more tops than bottoms like for me i've got way more tops than i have bottoms so bottoms are a little bit more acceptable as far as wearing them over and over again um, but i would still try to utilize that same um, ideas when you're wearing your bottoms so like these jeans for example here once i've worn these jeans i'm going to turn them inside out and i'm forcing myself to wear another pair of jeans in my closet so that I'm not constantly wearing the same pair of jeans all the time. And then the same thing for your shoes. If you have a bunch of shoes and you want to switch up your shoes, um, you can do the same thing. For example, if your shoes, if you place your shoes in your closet facing forward, me meaning that the heels are what's facing you, then simply turn them around so that now you can see the um, toe part is facing you. Um, so you know you've already worn those shoes, you can't wear those shoes again until all the shoes are pointing towards you, having the toe pointing towards you. 
so that way you're forcing yourself to wear these different pieces and you're not constantly wearing the same thing over and over again for those of you who are having a hard time with really having to find different outfits for you to wear and you find yourself just gravitating towards the same outfits every single time because you know they work i think this is a great way um, for you to really mix and match force yourself to be different with your outfits come up with different outfits um, so that you can really utilize every single piece in your outfit um, whenever I was doing this no buy it's been great for me I really had fun studying my closet really picking out different unique items that I haven't worn before um, I'm reaching the end of the no buy I don't think I'm gonna do no buy anymore at this point um, but that doesn't mean that I'm just gonna go crazy and just buy a bunch of new crap you know new things I'm still going to really cultivate the habit of really studying my closet and picking out new and different unique pieces, different outfits that I can wear on a daily basis. So those are just three really quick, cool tips. I think they're going to be super helpful for you guys. And um, I would love to know if you do that or if you plan on doing that, um, just to really force yourself to wear different outfits. All right, you guys, well, that does it for this video. I've given you three pro tips on how to make sure to wear every single thing in your closet. These tips really do work, and I think that you will find if you follow these three tips, it's going to be a lot easier for you to really make sure that you're wearing every single thing in your closet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I would love to know if you are planning to try these tips out or if this is something you already do or if there's something that you do that helps you wear every single thing in your closet, I would love to hear about it. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you found that you did enjoy this video, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button for me. Come on and join my fashion family. I would love to have you. I do a lot of fashion and styling videos on this channel, very similar to this one. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button for me. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, please come back in a timely fashion.